in this video I'm going to show you how you can restore or recover a project in Azure DevOps once it got deleted. So Azure DevOps allow us to restore any project within 28 days of the deletion, right? So if you by mistake deleted some project or you want to, you deleted some project, you want to get it back within 28 days, you can restore them along with everything like the your work item, your project template, your build, release plan, everything will remain uh, for you to be available to restore. Okay. So how to do that or and it's, it's quite simple and easy. So let us take a look. Uh, so this is let's say this is your Azure DevOps and uh, from here you go to the organization settings. So you need to be an organization level administrator to do that operation. So you go to the organization settings and here you can see all the recently deleted projects and it's clearly mentioned here that you can restore the deleted project up to 28 days right after that it will be deleted permanently so from here you can select any of the project and click on the restore once you click on the restore as your devops will restore your projects back to the normal stage it's as simple as that okay so now let us take a look how we can do that using a uh, rest api for the azure devops so as we all know that azure devops supports the rest api to access your devops like we can access anything in the devops whatever we do through the web portal we can do it through our rest api as well right so let us take a look how we can do that using the rest api so to that, do that, uh, first I just need to get an access to the PAT token, which is your personal access token. So for that, so go to your user settings, click on your personal access token. And let's generate one new token here. And I'll just give a name called, let's say, DevOps access token and probably you can choose this very specific uh, item from here there are a lot of scope that if you want to give a restriction access like you want to give an access on a work item level you want to give an access on the build and release pipeline level you want to give an access on the environment level you can just control your pad access token that you are using for the exposing the api okay here for this i'll just uh, choose full access I'll create and I'll keep the token copied. Now let's go back to Postman. Click a new request and probably let's call it as restore or get deleted projects okay uh, I have already one collection created I'll just create save it under that so first we are going to do a get call to get the list of project has been deleted right so before uh, I, I give that access URL rates let's, let's go to the authorization tab and choose for basic author authentication and uh, Let's give the username blank and paste the access token that we have generated from the Azure DevOps. Once we provide the access token, let us uh, provide the get URL that will give you the list of project in a deleted state. Okay. So here I have given the Azure DevOps URL and the state is deleted. Once I go and send this request, it will authenticate as I have the personal access token provided. You can see I have two projects, one called Node Web Explorer and another called Containerized Web, App, Web Apps DevOps, right? So these two projects are in a related state. I can go back to my Azure DevOps in the organization settings. And I can see, okay, I do, I do have these two projects in the deleted state. 
So now to restore this to put it back, I will go and uh, use the same pack token in another request. So I'll go in the operation tab. Let's change it to the basic authentication and change the pack token here. And instead of gate, we'll be using patch. And uh, let us get the URL for the patch call. And uh, let's get the ID. Okay. Let's get the ID of the project. So we don't we do not need to give the name. We have to provide an ID here. And once we go to the body, and maybe we can go to the raw and change it to JSON. And here we need to provide that state as well formed, right? So this is the state we are going to provide. So now I have taken the first project, which is the Node Web Explorer then go ahead and send the request it's going to work right so it says the state does not set an url that has written for the operation okay uh just to take it out i'll go to the get deleted project here i had two projects which is the deleted state earlier right so if i go and run this command again i can see okay, i have only this project available okay similarly go back to it as your devops and go to the organization settings you can see okay you have only one project available okay so this this is very quick and easy tips for you to restore or recover any project on the azure devops but it's it's going to be pretty handy by if you first deleted one project and you want to roll it back okay so thank you thanks for watching and uh, hope you enjoy the video thank you